Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to set a default selected radio button value and how to get the selected radio button value in React.js component. Now let's check the final output. Notice here the set we have set the default radio button is blue. When I reload the browser, it's blue. If I select black, we got the black. Brown, we got brown. Blue, blue. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous ReactJS tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. For this video tutorial, I have created one new React.js application in Visual Studio Code. Now let's create a new component in our project source folder. Select the source folder, right click the mouse new file and the file name is a radio button select select.js and here we got our JS file. Now in this JS file, we can create our React.js component. But before creating a React.js component, we need to import the React class from the React library. So first let's add that line, import React from the React library. After that, in React.js, we can create two types of components. One is a functional component and the second one is a class component. Here I'm creating a functional component. So let's add the function and the function name is rbselect which is same as my component name and this function export default rbselect and this function render return so return return i'm adding one root element div in this div i'm adding one h1 tag how to set the default selected radio value radio button and get the radio button value react.js tutorials after that i'm adding horizontal line now after the horizontal line i'm adding one simple input type is equals to radio element let's close this radio element now i want to bind this radio element using the list items so in the function i'm creating one let add some colors the variable name let's give some colors is uh, black brown blue just for the demo purpose i have added only three colors black brown and blue and i want to bind this list of colors in this radio button so for that i'm using the um, map method so between curly brackets I'm adding the variable name colors dot map method in this map method I'm adding result is an object object between curly brackets let's copy this one and paste here now let's add a value is equals to between curly brackets the values we are binding from this result object and also uh, i'm adding um, bold tag result let's save this file save all we'll check the output uh, these colors values are binded to this input element or not 
before run this application we need to configure our component in react in index.js file and that file will be available in our project source folder see in the source folder there is an index.js file open that one and notice the default render component is app but i want to render my component rb select so let's add that one and we need to import our component also in react.js file let's save this application now let's run this car, uh, application now open terminal first we need to uh, add our application to this path radio insert then npm start enter our result is not defined so let's check again oops we need to add this here and notice here, here i got some error here the reason i have added multiple html elements so to fix that we need to add one more parent component which is a div let's close the div now we check the output let's save this file save all we got a message compiled successfully let's check the output see here we got the output black brown and blue now notice here i'm able to select all the radio buttons so make it as a group for that we need to add the property called name radio values you can give any name again save this file save all uh, i'm reloading the browser see here now i can able to select only one radio button now if you notice here the radio button values is displaying in a vertical order now i want to display in a horizontal for that simply remove this div element but put this tax empty now let's check the value save all and now black brown and blue let's put this everything in a center tag center copy this one and add this here in the center tag save this file and we'll add some style here style and style colors red save this file save all we check the output mm, color that red color that red save all so now we got a new output it's displaying in the middle with a red color the radio buttons and also i can able to select only one radio button value now the selected value i want to display so here i'm adding on change event is equals to the selected values we are getting from let's display one more constant variable is an array takes two parameters one is display the selected display color and set color and this set color will will set will choose from this radio button with the help of use state method notice here when i add the use state is added automatically to this import line colon now this set color is e let's add this set color set color e dot target dot value and that selected target value we are holding in this display color this is the output so here we'll add one more h3 h2 tag between curly brackets i'm adding display color let's put this in a green color style is equals to color colon green 
one more curly brackets one more curly bracket that's it let's save this file save all we'll check the output i'm reloading the browser let's select brown here we got the brown black blue now notice here when i reload the browser it's not showing the default selector radio button i want to set the default radio button value when when the page loads so i want to set the brown radio button value so here i am adding um, the brown and in the input radio button value i have a checker attribute and this checker attribute the result result is the display color display color table equals to that's it let's save this file save all let's check the output notice here it's, it's already selected when I reload the browser, see it's brown. Suppose I want to set the blue color, blue radio button as a default. Let's put this here, blue. Make sure the spelling blue is capital here. Whatever we have written here must be same in this use state method. Save this file. We'll check the output. See here the blue. Now let's check the final output. Notice here the set we have set the default radio button is blue. When I reload the browser, so it's blue. If I select black, we got the black. Brown, we got brown. Blue, blue. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to set a default checkered radio button and how to get the selected radio button value in React.js. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.